From the outside, there were no hints of anything wrong at Wayne Scott Harrington's oral surgery office in Tulsa. But earlier this month, after one of his patients contracted hepatitis C, state officials inspected his clinics and called his practice a, quote, menace to public health. And it was just one violation after another, after another, after another. Susan Rogers is with the Oklahoma Board of Dentistry, which issued a formal complaint against Harrington. The complaint alleges he improperly cleaned dental instruments with bleach, causing them to corrode. Officials believe he then treated HIV and hepatitis-infected patients with those same instruments. A bunch of those instruments had rust on them. They were peeling apart. Um, and if, they're, if they have rust on them, they become porous, according to the CDC, and you can't sterilize them. They also found dental assistants providing IV sedation for procedures. Harrington's 7,000 patients will be tested in the coming days for hepatitis B, hepatitis C, and HIV, the virus that causes AIDS. One person wrote on our local CBS affiliates website, this makes me sick. Now we have to get my daughter tested. There have been no reports of other infections so far. Harrington has voluntarily suspended his license. Dr. Matthew Messina is with the American Dental Association. That destroys uh, that level of trust for all of us, and, and I, you know, that makes me very, very angry. I'm, I'm very disappointed. According to the Centers for Disease Control, since 1991, there have only been three times when patients in a dental setting were infected with hepatitis or HIV. Elaine Quijano, thanks, Elaine.